Hey friends, so today's video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover. I know it's very different, but I decided to do this because this video was filmed over several days and different weeks, and I thought just talking would explain to you guys. So for today, February 9th, I had a chemistry midterm the next day, so I basically spent my whole day doing chemistry practice questions and understanding the concepts of chemistry. So another reason why I wanted to do a voiceover is to kind of give my study tips on some subjects. I am not perfect. Even the semester I was studying for, I didn't do so great at. So I'm just giving you guys my own tea. I would actually love to have some tips from you guys in the comments to let me know. But for chemistry, what I do is questions, practice questions. That's basically the way to do well in chemistry, really. You don't need to rewrite notes, just do practice questions. I should have done more practice questions for this midterm that I didn't do well on. So yeah, that's all I would advise for chemistry. Okay, so it's the next day. I didn't film the whole day yesterday, but it's the next day and it's the day I'm meant to write my chemistry midterm. After studying chemistry in the morning, I took a break and I had lunch, aka my only meal for the day because we're fasting right now in my church. And yeah, my dad has been on the road making smoothies and it's just really good. And I ate with shiitake noodles. Then I joined my bio class. And as you guys can see, I wasn't really concentrating because my bio class is not it. My teacher is not it. So I just ate my food ate some beauty bar after I microwave mine for 30 seconds that's why it's on a plate and watch some study tube and my family and stuff and also I think part of it is because most of the content is also from high school I did AP bio so that's why I'm kind of like oh please then we were put into break room so I had to switch back to my concentration gear and listen and do this assignment she wanted us to do with our group so that's what i did and i'm surprised i even talked so yeah so after the awkward breakout room sash we went back to the main room i continued watching some youtube because i did not want to assimilate any new information whatsoever i had a midterm that very day like i do not care about any other thing except the midterm I also entered my chemistry class immediately after bio and as you can see I was also not fully concentrating. I was just taking a break from chemistry studying and doing some other important stuff that I had to do. And this time around I was working on my family business and that was it. I don't know why we're having lectures on a midterm day but that's beside the point. And then I had to join the annoying three hour long chemistry lab. I can't skip this one. I had to concentrate just because you know it's a lab. But after this, I made sure to set aside time to do my chemistry midterm. It's not proctored. You could do it in the span of 16 hours or something like that. So I made sure to do it before I slept because I knew after going through this terrible day that I would sleep in like crazy the next day. So that's the end of the day and the week. Okay, so now it's reading week. So this is February 15th, actually. So yeah, and it's the week to take a break from school and from all the lectures and just do the stuff you want to do and read for midterms and stuff like that. I was not so lucky to do my midterms before the midterm, the reading week, and I had midterms after, so I had to study. I planned to study for eight hours. <laughs> that did not work out every day so this is the plan i made for this particular day on monday me thinking i was going to study for eight hours anyways my focus for this reading week was bio and psychology so that's all i studied that's all i did throughout the whole week so this is a time lapse of me just studying for bio i'll give you guys some study tips later here is the lunch slash meal of the day 
There's some fried rice, jollof rice, plantains, and some vegetable, a squid and shrimp thing. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I didn't study for eight hours that day. So this is another day, February sixteenth, and I had my beauty bar. I made a mess. I don't know how, but I was studying for psychology this time around. So I just put on some study music and some Pomodoro timer and time myself and I just studied for psychology and it's the night of Tuesday because I didn't do any school stuff throughout the day and just kept everything towards the evening so yeah and then I spent time calculating my grade using the notion template Okay, so it's Wednesday 17th and I did mostly evening studying today again and I focused on my psychology research written assignment and it was, nice, it was really nice to just study serene and yeah, that was the whole day for me. Friday, December 19th and I will just study for the next hour or so and then I'll pick up again later. Okay, so like I said, this is Friday, Friday, 17th. Yes, I did not study at all throughout Thursday. I spent all day doing some family business stuff. Then I painted my sister's room with her, and that took a chunk of my time. But anyways, Friday I was determined, woke up early, and started studying for biology, and that was my focus for the whole day. So enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so I don't mean to scare you guys, but yeah, a little food of the day. So some mashed potatoes, some uh, stir fry vegetables, and some grilled fish. If you're not eating fish in your life, I'm sorry if this scared you. But yeah, it was delicious. So yeah. So after taking a dinner slash work break, I came back and I had to give a special administration for our church preacher that day so I just spent time doing some choir practice then I studied some bio and I did the video which spanned to the next day Saturday February 20th and it's time to start studying okay so it's Saturday after having a long night's sleep I came back and I just continued studying bio my study tip is actually using flashcards, timing yourself, and then doing practice questions for bio. That's all I used to study for my bio exam. Here's a quick lunch slash meal of the day. Some French toast and a spinach and strawberry salad. Actually really good. Use the raspberry dressing. That was all I did for Saturday and now it's Sunday the 21st and yeah i did not film the whole saturday just because yeah i wasn't feeling it and i was spending i was studying at awkward places that were not my desk so i had to obviously not film that anyways what i did was finalizing my bio studying and just doing some practice questions and as usual here's the little meal of the day and dinner i just ate some fried rice and chicken thigh that's it then i went back to studying and i was basically doing practice questions and that was it for the rest of my evening Okay, so it is finally February 22nd, the day of my bio midterm, the first day back from reading week, and also my birthday. So today I clocked 19, 
and it was so nice i guess <laughs> i don't know i think i'm getting really old because i don't i don't feel as excited as i used to feel for my birthdays and 19 is actually just weird for me what i did before my bio midterm was just do some light studying this is me after my bio midterm i was just excited to get out of my room and go like party with my family I submitted myself one minute earlier, so I guess I did well. <laughs> you never know, though. That's just the way college is. So after my midterm, I basically went to get our delivery or our food order from uh, the Mexican restaurant. So I decided to eat Mexican food for my birthday, and I also got an ice cream cake. It was so good. It was my dad's first time of any Mexican food so it was interesting to see his reaction but it was really good food and it does make you feel unhealthy after even though it's your birthday except the ice cream cake but I think it's better than having two things that are not so healthy at the same time Okay, so I had the autonomy to order the dinner thing for my birthday. So I ordered like a taco and burrito bowl dinner for my family. So there was cilantro lime rice, there was some black beans, and there was also chicken, and it was so good. Very delicious. I highly recommend it to you guys to try some Mexican food. It's so good. Anyways, after that, I had my Oreo cake. Oreo is the best, cookies and cream. Anything of that sort is my favorite, especially if there's brownies in it. Without brownies, it's okay, but with brownies, 100%. Yeah. Okay, so we've now come almost to the end of the video. So I ate my cake and I worked on my psychology research written assignments. I went to bed by 2 am yeah it was such a nice day thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much again <laughs> thank you for accommodating the voice over don't worry the next time hopefully i go back to the normal way of doing vlogs anyways happy birthday to me happy 19th <laughs> yeah bye guys enjoy the rest of your week Thank you.